Live from Shadowmere Studios, this is the Talkie Box Podcast. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. What is that one for? I actually don't know that That's one. for Talkie Box. No. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. I just made that up. You, you yeah. feeling nutty today? <laughs> you have some nut stories? You got a no. bust <laughs> I'd hope not. Whoa. <laughs> this, is a, this is a kid's show. Is it? Fuck no. We're going to exactly. break an acorn, children. We're yeah. not busting anything like an acorn. <laughs> I'm, your <host. laughs> I'm your host, Dave, and with me now we got Jeremy. Yeah. And Jackie. Kinda. Woo! Kind of? Yeah. I'm partially here? Uh, yeah, I almost fell asleep driving here. <laughs> oh, God. And I was asleep like 20 minutes before this. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you had a long day of the week. Cause y'all now y'all work together. Yes. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I only hire people that work together on the show. We used to work together. We used Wait, to work together. Hi. We used to work together. We work together. What, uh, is there like a pay thing that I just oh, yeah, wasn't told check? about? It's in the mail. <laughs> Checks in the mail. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but no. Uh, what is on your arm? This chocolate milk. Why is it? Why is there chocolate milk on your arm? So, I forgot to wash it off. So, at work today, uh, because it was a very busy Sunday, so, like, everybody's rushing around, nobody's paying attention to anything. Mm. I have a customer that asks for a large glass of chocolate milk. I go to the cooler. I grab the jug. Yeah. I think normal people shake milk before they serve it. So, I was shaking it up, trying to get it all frothy. But someone (laughs) forgot to put the cap on the jug. (laughs) So, I go, whew, and it goes... (laughs) <laughs> Whoosh! Oh and it was like I feel like like in, when in my childhood I wanted to be on Nickelodeon so I could get slimed, but now I feel like I know what that's like, so I don't need to do that anymore. Just frothy like, chocolate milk all over you. Yeah, it was in my eyelashes. It was in my nose. I breathed chocolate milk for like five seconds. That's someone's wet dream right there. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Breathing chocolate milk sounds like a cool superpower to have. I think. <laughs> Yeah, I that reminds me I need to put my shirt in the laundry because it's probably gonna start smelling bad soon. Chocolatey bad. Chocolatey bad. <laughs> awesome. Rotten chocolate. Mm. How how was your day at work? Awful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure the amount of stress I had today probably shortened my lifespan a little bit. Yeah. So that's definitely one thing I don't miss about the restaurant industry is Sunday mornings. Cause like if you work in a restaurant that's open on a Sunday morning, you're going to have a bad time. But you never came in when it was bad. Yeah. You were always, like, sauntering in, hey, guys, what's up? And you just see the remains of the kitchen. You're like, <laughs> man, you guys look like shit. <laughs> I feel great, though. You that just is come in with not your what flowing I said. hair. You're just yeah. like, I'm so gorgeous. <laughs> oh, and yeah. by the way, you guys look like garbage. Because I learned a long time ago, if they give you the option to not work on a Sunday morning, don't work on Sunday morning. But I don't, I don't know, I don't get that. I was never given the option. They never said, "Hey, do you not want to work on Sunday morning?" Like, no, I don't. <laughs> but no, they just. I, don't, I told why them. Why did that, you get that? I told them that I wanted to work evenings, and that's it. And they were like, oh, "Okay, well, we'll see what we can do." And then uh, that's just what happened. You suck. Yeah. You're quoting John Mulaney. A little bit. Okay. Yeah. If you don't know who John Mulaney is, please go check out his stuff on Netflix. He Very funny comedian. So funny. There it funny. is. First time Netflix was brought up. <laughs> <laughs> Not a sponsor, sadly. Yeah. I was like, you know, I was thinking earlier, um, earlier in the week, that we never really talk about music on this show. Mm-hmm. Uh, and which is weird, given that at, at least the three of us have a band that we all really like, which is mm-hmm. Ninja Sex Party. Um, and if you haven't checked out Ninja Sex Party, check them out. They just had a new video show up on YouTube. Yes. For Danny Don't You Know, which is fantastic. Um, especially if you like uh, Stranger Things. And, uh, specifically Finn Wolfhart. Yep. No, um, but like him in, like, you know, a non sexual way, because I don't think he likes that. He's well, he, a child. he's a child. <laughs> um, but yeah, you've actually seen them in concert. Mm hmm. And that sounds it amazing. It was funny because, um, she had brought up the, you know, Danny Don't You Know. I'm like, oh, yeah, I saw that live. And because, <laughs> so uh, you know, when he, uh, I'm pretty sure that was the first time he had even 
played it was when they came to Atlanta. Um, oh, wow. I think it was like last summer. Mm. And he's like, all right, so I, you know, I have a request for you guys. Don't record this. Because this is going to be off the new album, right. and we're going to play it for the first time, and we don't want it showing up on YouTube or something. Yeah, and you know, I, I'm pretty sure no one did because I haven't seen anything about it. But like, he got so emotional about that song. I think he was like tearing up because oh, like wow. everyone did like the phone flashlight thing. Yeah, it like it was bright. Like e- almost everyone did it. Like it was lights. <laughs> like we, it was a dark room. Not yeah. anymore. <laughs> and he's like. That almost brought him to tears because how awesome he thought that was. That's or, really cool. Or it almost brought him to tears because there was so much light in his eyes. Yeah, that could be. <laughs> but it's like, Inch Sex Party is a, is a comedy band. Mm-hmm. And it is a funny song at parts, but it, it also seems like very a very... Sweet. It was, yeah, it's a very it was an emotional, like an emotional song. song. Like it's, it's talking to himself as a child mm-hmm. um, and how, you know... And, and it, I guess it really reaches out to, to younger kids now who are, who are nerds China. and feel ostracized and everything, yeah. but... Yeah. People that are just trying to find their tribe. Yeah. That's good stuff. But the funny thing is, given that we all love Ninja Sex Party, from there we have very different musical tastes. Oh, yes. Because I've always been kind of a alternative punk ska kind of guy. I know you're into EDM, and then you're more of like a hard rock metal guy. Oh, yeah. So. Mm-hmm. I like metal, too. It's just, that was like, my high school phase was mostly just metal and screamo and all that stuff. And mm-hmm. then... Now, as an adult, I'm into EDM, which is funny because most of the people that I knew that liked EDM in high school are now into metal and screamo now. Like, yeah. total reverse. See, I've got a fine line. Like, I don't like screamo. Like, I like being able to understand. Yeah. Like, like I don't like just... Some bands are just legit. Yeah. They just make animal noises and growl. And it's like, <laughs> okay, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Like, I like... Because I like metal because I like just the really heavy instrumentals. I think that's really awesome. Mm. Like, it blows my mind how some of these drummers are just like, how do you move your arms and legs that fast? I can't even, you know, Mm. I have a hard time using a spatula with my left (laughs) hand. (laughs) And you're just sitting there, like, probably doing four different things. And then you got these guitars that are like, I just, it blows my mind sometimes. And I love listening to it. I I always wanted to be a drummer growing up. And mm-hmm. then I realized that I couldn't yeah. because I can't do that with my body. Um, this just takes practice. Probably. All, all skills just develop with time and practice. Uh, I guess, I don't know. I feel like there are some skills that people, like some people just can't do. Mm-hmm. Like, I know I wouldn't like be able to be a drummer. Like guy with one arm just can't swim. I couldn't be a drummer because I can't <laughs> write things down and I can't talk at the same time. Really? I will have to tell people to shut up or give me a second <laughs> while I'm trying to write something down or read it. Yeah. So because like I can't hold a conversation. Like just, just I'm not being mean. I just hold. Give me a second. Right. All right. What's up? So that's why you work on grill and not as a server. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah. I found it, at, at my job there's a lot of times where I'm having to type while I'm talking to somebody and I can't and I can't do that. I can't I can't have a conversation while I'm typing mm-hmm. something else cuz I'll just type what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I do. Like if I'm if I'm hearing someone say their name or something like like I was filling out a job application and I was talking to our other host or not host or You're talking to Kate. <laughs> I was talking to Kate and she was telling me her I was saying her name because she was saying something stupid as usual <laughs> and I'm like Kate and then I write down and I'm like Damn it, that's supposed to be my name. It's Kate's name. Yes, I'm Kate now. <laughs> yeah, I was like, just played off. Just like, okay, I'm just going to fill out your application for you. You do the same for me. <laughs> you should test a friendship to You should have like, just no, went with it. Then yeah. you could be like Kate 1 and 2. <laughs> oh, my God. No. <laughs> we have short Kate and tall Kate. So, something else I just found out about right before the show started. Uh, Jeremy told me about, <laughs> and I'm going to let you actually tell it. So, they announced last year that they were remaking the hit 1994 classic Shaq Fu. Not a hit classic. Hit Not a hit classic. or classic. <laughs> it was so good, they acknowledged how good it was in the trailer for the remake. Now, Shaq Fu was basically like a side-scroll and yeah, beat-em-up, wasn't it? it? Yeah, side-scroll or beat-em-up, kind of like that Mortal Kombat style, just punching. But it was yeah. just oh. awful and ridiculous. Right. So, they're like... Let's remake it. So <laughs> they did, and it looks awful and ridiculous in the good way. But 
they had announced a couple days ago a free DLC for it. Yep. Called Barack Fu, The Adventures of Dirty Barry. <laughs> <laughs> and you now get to play for free as Barack Obama in this side scroller beat em up game. <laughs> and. I uh, found out that you apparently can fight Kanye in it, oh, but right. it's spelled C O N Y E because yeah. he's the bad guy of the DLC, and I love it. Like if I wasn't interested in the game, this would be like an instant. All right, I'm gonna go buy this game just right. for this. And you can find the the trailer for that online mm -hmm. on YouTube, and it's ridiculous. And yeah, we watched it right before the show started, and <laughs> wow. It sounds pretty amazing. See, Dirty when you Barry. guys said Shaq, I was thinking of, you know, like, Shaq. You know? You know? Like the movie guy? The one that was, I don't know. He's... Shaft? Shaft! <laughs> That's it! <laughs> yes! Not the same person, but now I want to see Shaquille O'Neal play Shaft. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> that would be amazing. Did I amazing. just invent something just now? <laughs> think so. Uh, okay, so we have to call our people. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we gotta get some people and then have them call other people. Oh my god. Oh man. Yeah, I want to see that happen. Well, if we're getting people, <laughs> I already have a great idea for a show. Oh? Yeah. Alright, it stars Danny DeVito, right? <laughs> right. It's already a great idea. So, it's basically like one of those reality camera following people, but Danny DeVito has a paddle. Right, it's a boat paddle. Okay. <laughs> and he goes around America and the world hunting down cryptids to go paddle them with his sidekick Michael Sarah. Hunting down what now? Cryptids. Cryptids. Like Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster. Oh. oh my god, yes. He goes around and he just paddles them every week. And that's and that's the episode. Like, does he find them? Uh if he, he sometimes. <laughs> what makes me very happy about that because I imagine like what if you took him to Dragon Con or something? He saw furries and he got confused. <laughs> Michael, get the paddle. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny also because I love this idea so much that my friend had started a D and D campaign. He's my character. And my friend is Michael Sarah's camera guy. <laughs> so that's that's the premise of our thing is he's just following me around with the camera. He's right. just a normal dude. I've got a mystical paddle and I go around <laughs> hunting monsters. <laughs> and it's so funny because it's a, a variant of D&D. &D, so, you know, it's like having like seven health is a lot and stuff like that. Yeah. The dude does like four damage a hit because of all the buffs <laughs> I gave to the stupid paddle. <laughs> It's like this glowing meteorite space paddle. It's got blades on it. And oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. The lore behind that is I can't die until I paddle the devil. <laughs> I am not amazing. allowed to die until the devil has been paddled, and I have been trained from birth to hunt monsters. <laughs> Do you die, like, immediately upon paddling the devil? No, it's just at that point, At that I point, can anything die. can kill yeah. me. Yeah. But, like, up until that point, I am just not allowed to die. Like, a little spider is not going to do nothing. <laughs> Well, that's fantastic. I know. And it makes me upset that I'll never get to see that on TV. I never really had it. Like, I played some tabletop games, some D and D mm -hmm. games, and the 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 best run I ever had was uh, I played a game. Stop it. I'm fixing it. Oh, God. You're making it worse. It was a uh, it was a tabletop worse. game called Mutants and Masterminds, Damn. and we basically just. Uh, you got to make your own mutant and have your own powers and stuff. So I based mine loosely on Gambit from the mm -hmm. X-Men. And then uh, my friend uh, Jones was playing this character that was essentially like a star in human form or something. He was really overpowered and stupid. <laughs> and we hated each other. And that was great. But at one point, uh, we went to this little island where there were dinosaurs. And I immediately left the team because I had to go find a raptor to ride it <laughs> and they did the entire mission without me and the dm you know the, the dm is sitting there like okay guys you do this well blah, blah, blah. uh dave you don't find a dinosaur yet anyway <laughs> <laughs> and so right as i find my dinosaur and i've like successfully grappled him in order to ride him the team is beating their thing and they come in and like my asshole friend jones like grabs me by like my coat <laughs> And like pulls me away before I get to ride the dinosaur, Aww. and that's how he became my arch enemy. <laughs> With the tabletop games, like it's just so fun. <laughs> Fuck you and your dinosaur. <laughs> having like you know a DM who's really 
cool with this stuff. Because, mm. like, the main one we play, I'm a little I'm a little dwarf guy, right? What other game can I say, I got to wrestle a T-Rex and I won? <laughs> <laughs> As in, I grappled that T-Rex and forced him to the ground and he was afraid of me. <laughs> like, what other game can you say that? Yeah, that really didn't happen in anything else. Or, most recently, I had this item... It's just a random magic occurrence out of, like, a chart of a thousand. Mm. Well, thanks to me, an entire army no longer has feet. <laughs> <laughs> but not in the safe way, as in, they will bleed out. I condemned an army of 500-plus beings to death. By chopping all By their feet? By their feet? No. Um, the thing was, their shoes just got so tight they imploded on themselves. <laughs> wow. You are a creative being. <laughs> I was so happy because we would have probably been beaten up by this army. I mean, it's a lot of it's a lot of people in that army. I haven't played any tabletop games. That's and so yet. sad. I need to put that. I was gonna say I need to put that under my belt, but I don't think that's how. How does the saying go? Like I need to add that to the utility belt. Or that's exactly it. Yeah. Yeah, that's... you nailed it. First yeah, try. Right. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. No, like, I just need to have that skill. Yeah. What, what is the saying? Well, putting it under your belt means you've already done it. So. Yeah. So I need to put it above my belt. That's, that's not a saying. Uh, no. no, that's not how that goes at all. Then what does it mean? Put it on the bucket list. <laughs> there you go. would be okay. a better one. Fine. Yeah. It's on the bucket list. It's on my to-do list. What does that mean, too? Like... Is it a list? For uh, that's self explanatory. <laughs> to do uh, list. Yeah. Well, the bucket list was from like the idea that it's everything that you're you supposed do to do before, before you... you kick the bucket. Oh. Kick the bucket meaning you die. In case you die, die meaning okay, that you okay, no okay, longer. Okay, but what does that? <laughs> <laughs> what does that say? When you from? stop functioning permanently. Who kicked yeah. the bucket when they died and created the saying? Is really what I want to know. I don't know. They're just like. Probably no, some grandma. wizard. I can. The only thing I can think of is if it has something to do with like <laughs> hanging yourself and like, but that's really kick the chair. But that's now, a real saying. Maybe, you, I'm not making that up. Maybe they didn't have chairs back in the olden days. Some dude just. That's true. Yeah. Back chairs when you know, thing. Some dude back when everything could kill you is just walking, kicks his toe on a bucket, and gets I don't know tetanus or something and dies. Yep. Oh look at that! John kicked the bucket and now he's dead. Yep. That's Someone write that down. That's good. That's good. Kick the bucket. Now we get the yeah. bucket to TM. <laughs> <laughs> copyright. Copyright. I copyrighted it first. Yep. Shit. <laughs> I question everything. No. Yeah. Why? Because it's better. It's a better way of living, knowing that the world is still full of inquiry. You should yeah, don't drink, drink out of that cup. Don't drink out of that. We haven't you washed should. these cups in like yeah, a year. Yeah, I was looking at it. I was like, hmm. You should. You inquiries should. You are might in this get cup. Superpowers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of video games, I've been playing this game called XCOM. Yeah. I don't know if you ever played it. I haven't played it, but I know uh, it is. I've been playing it, and it does this thing that I call Super Cheat, mm -hmm. where if I'm doing really well, It'll cheat. And by cheat, I mean freeze. <laughs> so you're doing way too good right now, and you haven't saved in a while. Freeze. I feel like that's something that someone told me about 2K. That that game cheats a lot, too. Well, this what, is the, actually... The basketball? Yeah, the basketball oh. game. Well, XCOM was actually made by 2K, so... Is that Maybe the same the people that do the basketball game? Yeah, 2K okay. is, is a company that yeah. started making... Originally, I think they started making... Basketball games because you had like 2K1, 2K2. Did they really do XCOM that? I thought they basketball. just did 2K whatever really? because of the 2000. Yeah, I mean that's what it originally was, but they've they've expanded to not just playing uh, video game or uh, sports games anymore. Well, I'm glad because they also made Bioshock and Borderlands. Yeah. Do those games cheat? No. Yeah, those don't really freeze up, but I mean sometimes Borderlands totally is just does. buggy, but. Yeah, I mean, as to be expected with what kind of game it is. <laughs> but speaking of also video games, so me and my friends have this thing we like to do where one person will play through a game and the other person, like the other friends, will will all just kind of hang out doing it. Mm -hmm. The last game we did that with was the uh, Until Dawn. And I Ooh. had to play that. Mm -hmm. And I 
hated it. You told me about that before. That's the one where it's like a group of kids in a cabin in the woods or something, right? We With Rami Malik. We, we need to finish that game. With what? With Rami Malik. He's just in it. <laughs> yeah. Like they legit based a character off of him. He voiced the dude and everything. And it's just. He's the dude who's going to play. Uh, Freddie Mercury in the yeah. in Is it by any chance Rhapsody? based off a movie? Because it's like all of those people are actual people in other movies. Really? Yeah. I'm I did not sure. know that. Um, I don't know if it is or not. I just know I hated it, but <laughs> we the first time we played it, I got too far into it to just put down. Right. So we had to finish it. But now, last time we did this, my friend started playing Kingdom Hearts 2, a game he loves, but we don't understand. Because mm. it's just one of the most convoluted... <laughs> Like, there's just playing the games, you'd think, okay, Kingdom Hearts 1. If I play that, I'll understand Kingdom Hearts 2. No. No, you won't. <laughs> you have to play the four side games in between, spanning from the Game Boy to the whatever to this and that. But then they're not even in chronological order. And then after Kingdom Hearts 2 comes out, you've got the whatever point five eight three five eight over 2. It's what? just supposed to be pretty. And... They're great games. It's just, I legit looked up like a, here's the story. And it took me an hour to read it. <laughs> for just the second game? No, for Over everything. For the whole, all of the, the lore. Kingdom Hearts. Yes. And I'm like, huh. so they're just sitting there, how, how you doing, buddy? I just finished this game and I still have four more on this page. <laughs> wow. And it, it's, it's just ridiculous. Hmm. Because... From what I understand now, the main bad guy of the new game is the same dude, but four different iterations of himself and two other people who were dead but came back. I don't understand what you just said at all. Exactly. I'm a little confused. (laughs) But it's okay, because I get to have some Disney characters to help me beat these people up. See, that's what I said. It's just supposed to be pretty, and then you got Disney characters, and you're like, woo! Uh, it's not. It's also sad because they put Frozen in it, and I'm not excited about that. <laughs> you don't like Olaf? I have managed to not see that movie. I have. I have never heard Let It Go, and I'm very proud of that. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> I actually I haven't seen I haven't seen that or Tangled. I I did see Tangled. I like Tangled. Tangled was pretty good. I heard it was. I just haven't seen it. I recently saw Big Hero Six, which I really liked. I haven't seen that one. It's really good. It's based on Marvel. Is it? Yeah. Which is which means it's also like a Marvel movie where there is a clip after the credits. True. I mean, I just figure that with most movies now, like I've been conditioned to <laughs> sit there. Yeah, the, that happened after we finished watching. Uh... What solo? Solo. That's right. You, yeah, we went and saw Solo the other night. <laughs> because I don't know, we were just like I was like I was because the last couple movies that we had gone to see were Marvel movies. So mm. I was just like sitting there waiting, and Kate looks over and she's like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, "You're right. We're waiting. Idiot. We're waiting. <laughs> we gotta wait. It's gotta be a thing, right?" <laughs> no. Have you seen Solo? No. <laughs> are you gonna see Solo? No. No. Oh. I I don't cool. care anything about that. I don't care about Star Wars spinoffs. Yeah. Like I just think they're kind of pointless, and it's funny because. Because Solo didn't do as well as they wanted it to. Mm. They're like, no, we're not going to do anything that people do want. That Obi-Wan movie and Boba Fett movie you guys want? No. Nah. I've heard they're still doing the Boba Fett movie. Really? I know they're apparently not doing the Obi-Wan movie, which is fine because we don't need it. We've seen Obi-Wan. But everyone wants it. That's Why? what I like. What, what, that's what, what I'm saying, though. Is like, what no have one seen yet? No one wanted Solo, but they did it. Yeah. And everyone wants Obi-Wan. But they're not going to do it because we got a movie we didn't want and it didn't do what they wanted it to do. <laughs> I Honestly, like we saw it. I thought it was a fine movie. Like, I, it was... Me, from the perspective mm-hmm. of someone that has not kept up with the Star Wars franchise. Uh, so this is like I don't understand really how this would have been a bad movie because right. I don't have any experience with its pre- predecessors. But um, with this specific one... I feel like if you take it as not like a Star Wars movie, but if you take it more like a heist movie, because that's kind of the feel that it gave me is like a like Ocean's Eleven. But it's space. You see, like you can, you like, like you can do that because, like you just said, you don't know the Star Wars movie, so yeah. for you that was just an action movie. Yeah. yeah. While like someone who really enjoys like you know the long story, the good yeah. Star Wars movies. Yeah. I'm not gonna say which. You know, trilogy that was, but the original one. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, you know, it's like 
it's just like all this weird stuff like why is this star wars how is this star wars you know compared to you know what the really like the actual good stuff is like Mm -hmm. just you know like with the rogue one like it's cool that they're trying to expand on it but like with rogue one you know the best part about that was just this huge fight scene at the end and that was just because it was an action movie and that's what it was building up to yeah while like you know star wars is just okay uh there's some stormtroopers there i guess that makes it star wars you got this dude who is kind of wearing some futuristic stuff you might okay cool oh and now it's mad max for a second (laughs) yeah i liked uh i don't know i enjoyed Mm -hmm. solo i thought it was a fine movie it did cram in a lot of stuff that it so many things that that han solo mentions in the original movies all happen in this one movie Mm -hmm. which is odd well, I mean, I imagine that's just, just like, yeah, it's young Han Solo. We got to fit in all of his crazy, yeah. wacky stories in there. <laughs> right? We have time for that? The budget? <laughs> yeah, he met everyone he ever met, he met in this movie. <laughs> so did I tell you how I met everyone in my life in a span of 20 minutes? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and every cool thing he ever did happened during this movie. Um, but, it, like, aside from that, like like you said, if you take it just by itself, mm-hmm. pretty good movie. Um Okay. Um. Totally <laughs> lost my train of thought. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Okay, let's let's reverse this. Maybe we'll no. fix it. So let me tell you about this movie. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw this movie called Solo, right? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't even see it by myself. It's weird. Um. But nah. Oh it was, my god. I thought it was alright. Yeah. Uh, we just got that. That's disgusting. The last movie I saw was uh, I went and bought Annabelle Creation. Mm -hmm. Because I love those movies, like The Conjuring, the Annabelle movies. And one thing I really, really liked about this one, because it was supposed to be about how the doll got possessed, Mm. it had a clip from the uh, first one near the very beginning of the movie. So, like, it really, like, actually tied them in. Like, it showed the same scene, but from, like, different perspectives. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, okay, that's really cool. Because this was the only scene that freaked me out in the first one. <laughs> Thanks for making me relive that. Yeah. I need to see those. They are really good. I, there, there's I've several the of those Conjuring. movies all I run together for me. Because I haven't seen most of them, but I've, I've seen like clips here and there. <laughs> yes. And I don't know the difference between The Conjuring and Insidious and... The Sinister. Peep. Okay, well, well Sinister's not even in that universe. Yeah, is it? no. I don't know about Insidious. I haven't seen that one. Um The Sinister though, that's about uh like the conjuring's about basically the worst paranormal stuff mm. the of the two paranormal investigators, Ed and Lorraine Warren. I think I've seen yeah, you know, follow- maybe the first one of those. Yeah. It follows them and Sinister like they're that's in not it. even mm. in that's not yeah, even that's in Yeah, that's nothing to do with them. Different. Sinister is about the boogeyman. Okay. Yeah. I really like the first Sinister was really good cuz like the concept of it was really cool that scared like me it so did. bad. Cuz like his premise was he's not physically there. He lives in whatever image he's captured in. Mm. So like if you've got a picture of him, you know, that's him. So, you know, you could be looking at this still picture and you can look away and he's just staring at you and he's moving and then he'll leave the picture and you're like, okay, well, was there something there before? And, you know, it's just, and, you know, he'll find probably a young child of a family. It's got to be like a family Mm -hmm. and there has to be like young children and he'll, you know, take over, like influence this kid, get them to, you know, kill the family and then record it with, like, a tape. So then he lives again. So, and then that child's gone. It's part of his little children army he's taken. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, the next family or whatever will find this box of tapes. Watch it. And then you're like, okay, now something's going on. And then it's... The cycle just keeps it's just Yeah. Okay. But what really creeps me out is when they go and watch the footage that was filmed. It's so scary <laughs> yeah like it's because it's hmm, there's no audio to them okay so it's just like it's just like one of those um old dying and stuff. film and it's just like it but it shows them like they're just recording the family or normally it'll show like them being happy and yeah. doing things like a barbecue you know like yeah we're having a good time grilling out on this nice sunny day and then the next thing you know it shows like the entire family's tied up and gagged in the swimming pool without water and they're covered in gasoline or something and 
boom, on fire. And it's just, okay. And, it's, you know. If you've seen that movie, the lawnmower scene, oh. that's what gets me. <laughs> so I don't like horror movies with gore, so I just did not like watching Yeah, that. but I was like, I was just like, ah! <laughs> no. But I feel like maybe there's only certain types of gore that really get me. Like, decapitation is the one gore that's just like, no, I can't do that. But if it's just like, oh, an arm fell off, whatever. But then it's like stuff that's supernatural that really sits with me because mm-hmm. then it's like I can't turn off the lights at night. <laughs> like I don't like the horror. Like I don't have no interest in watching like Saw or songs. Like I just don't. I don't care about horror movies that are just gory. Like See, I like the Saw movies because they're not as gory as mm-hmm. your mind makes them makes you think they are. Yeah, like, they do play there's... tricks. Yeah, like you, you, it implies so much more than you're actually seeing. Which I, and that's something I really liked about the song movie. It's still just a, like gore and general like horror movies. Like I don't, yeah, I don't I, like like if you're trying to make a movie scary, just based solely off of like the, what can I show them mm. to freak them out? You know, rather than like, like paranormal stuff, alien stuff. Like that's freaky. Like, yeah. just what that is, what can be implied about it. That's just. Okay. Because like, the world is so vast. We have no idea. And it yeah. gets to me because, like, you know, I do believe in that stuff. So, like, oh, you're possessed. Okay. Like, someone I work with, um, he's like, yeah, I was at this antique store, and I found a real-ass Ouija board. And I'm like, did no. you touch it? And he's <laughs> like, no, I'm like, don't touch it. He's like, yeah, and there was, like, a doll next to it, like, like a completely Stop. black doll and some old news clippings. I was like, did you touch them? <laughs> Don't touch them. That is, it's going to follow you. You should know if it's a real Ouija board and it's old in an antique store, it's been used. That's some uh, bad juju right there, man. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, no, I, I steered clear from that. I'm like, yeah. The only thing is, I think, like, scientifically speaking, the human perception is so limited. Like, there are certain rays of color we just can't see. So like if we yellow. can't, yeah, like, if we can't even, <laughs> I think purple isn't even actually purple. I think purple is what our mind has constructed it to be. That's, like, there's a color that we specifically look at, and it's not actually the actual color. Purple's um, my favorite color. Why are you ruining it for me? I'm sorry. <laughs> so it's just, like, if is we just... Is green still green? I don't know. <laughs> but it's just, like, if those are things or that we just can't yellow? <laughs> I can't see yellow. And there are Can noises. you not see yellow? No, I can't. There are noises we can't hear, so that means there's just this whole realm of things well, we don't know about because we just can't perceive them. And scientifically, the hearing can't. though is different because, like, every so often I'll be in a room or whatever with a whole bunch of people who are like, "Oh, check this out," and they've got like one app or something mm-hmm. that like is supposed to make this noise, mm-hmm. and like you raise it and raise it, and like the older you are, you know, you're supposed to not be able to hear it as higher pitched. Yeah. So like, you know, I'll have people, like, "Oh, okay, I, I hear it." I don't hear anything, and they're like, oh, yeah, I still hear it, and it just goes up and up, and it's, it's like, that one kind of makes sense. Like, that might just be, you know, maybe there are sounds as, like, infants we hear, and yeah. then we're which never going to remember which that. It just adds to the creepiest, yeah. the creepiness of children. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, there's still, there's still stuff that's mm-hmm. subsonic and supersonic, and, like, it's, you know, in that, that, that uh, spectrum of things that, you know, is not capable of being heard of, you know, with human ears. But, like, and that also adds the creepiness to dogs. Like, I hate it. I hate it so much when my dog just, like, stares into a corner of the room. And then, like, out of nowhere, she, her like, the hair on her back starts pricking up. And then she starts barking. And I'm like, what is Are it? Are you seeing this? <laughs> that thing is coming for her. What? Ooh. Ooh. Is that a squirrel? She's like, will you stop watching the TV for a second and look at this thing? Like, Do you not see how many arms this has? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Think of uh, all the scratches. I always like to see the uh, the pictures that people take with their phones when they have like the Snapchat filters on that's supposed to put a face on something, mm-hmm. but it's on like not a person. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm thinking, oh, just hanging out with some ghosts, apparently. Or my air conditioner. <laughs> that apparently oh. looks like a face. Oh. Like when it just, just takes something random oh. because it's like got two holes not in it or something. Space, and it's like, like, oh, eyes. Okay, this is a face. <laughs> no, that is my air conditioner. <laughs> You know. Mm. So what's insidious? I don't know. Okay. I, I think that one. Think... I don't, 
Yeah, I, I've never seen it. I don't think that's part of the movie. Conjuring series. It's not. I think that's what, another but series. Didn't Conjuring on its have own. like a split off series or something or a spin off? That was Annabelle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're doing another one based off the demon that was in the second one. Mm-hmm. So that one's called The Nun. Okay. Um, that one's getting a spin off. Oh, yeah. That one's pretty cute. But um, yeah, Annabelle is the spin off because, like, in each of the Conjuring movies and stuff, and the Annabelle movies, it'll have like clips and scenes or pictures of like the real scenes or things that inspired the movie oh. so like um you know it's about ed and lorraine warren and it, it shows their house their you know where they keep all their things that they've taken for spiritual stuff you know mm. like off their stuff so like in their house they have an actual they have the actual annabelle doll and it's like this thing's so bad like it's in a case that's never to be opened, and then like once a month or something, they have a priest come and bless it. Yeah. They so the like in you know the first or second conjuring, it showed a picture of like their actual room, mm-hmm. and it showed the actual Annabelle doll, or you know and stuff like that, and that's isn't, what's really cool. Isn't the actual Annabelle doll? Isn't it like a? It's like a Raggedy Ann. It's a Raggedy doll. Ann, and it's, that makes like when I grew up. That was the doll that I had in my room, yeah. and I did not like it. Like I actually <laughs> would pick it up and turn it on the shelf that had all the stuffed animals. Don't look at me. Exactly. It was Raggedy Ann, and she had her little buddy that's a boy. I don't remember. Raggedy Andy. Yeah. yeah. It was both of them. I don't know who gave them to me, but they were not thinking properly, obviously. Right. That's not okay for children. So I just would turn them both before mm. I go to sleep, and then I think my dad would come in and fix it, and I'd just be like, no! <laughs> How did you turn? <laughs> but the first Conjuring, mm. I think that's the one I saw, and that's like, they reference Annabelle, but it's not actually about Annabelle, right? That... Yeah, like I think they mentioned the doll. Yeah. Mm. Um, just like, I think it, they mention it as like one of their... It was like their worst did. thing yeah. or something. Gotcha. okay. Because like, it's just, it's really interesting seeing, like, how they tie it all together, too. Because, like, they will, you know, they'll, like I said, they're characters in the movie. But, like, it's about them. And then, um, I think she has actually been in them before. Lorraine? Yeah. Because um, Ed, he's passed away. Hmm. Um, but I think she's in them, like, as a, just a character. Like, how I'm Stan Lee does his cameo. Gotcha. Yeah. So, that I, like, that's cool. But it's also just cool, like... Oh, okay, that and then like at the end it'll be like they did this and this and here's some actual audio that they're recording like for a scene in the movie like they had like a all right we're gonna record this you know blah 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 and then at the end of the movie it's like here's the actual audio from that scene and it's like okay wow that's really creepy because <laughs> it you know like a lot of this stuff is set in like the seventies and eighties so mm-hmm. it's like okay if this is the actual you know crap like oh my god they. It would be really hard to fake all that. I don't like what I'm listening to. <laughs> Speaking of cameos, I don't know when you were saying cameos and like that. Like, I always wondered if, like, say and that's never gonna happen. What if I were to do my own movie, like mm. produce my own movie? Is it lame to kind of copy Stan Lee and be in my movie? Because I know multiple authors who have done that, like Stephanie well, Meyer depends. and John Green did that. And when John Green did his cameo, this is mostly why I want to say it. When John Green did his cameo in his movie, he said my name. Do you uh, like... <laughs> want to be uh, the next Tommy Wiseau? <laughs> Write, the room. direct, and pay for your own oh, movie. No, okay. <laughs> and then be the main character in it. Hi, Mark. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. <sighs> what does he say about the dog? The nice puppy or something? Oh, hi, like... Dougie. Oh, hi, pet, Dougie. Pet. <laughs> <laughs> You're my favorite customer, Johnny. How did you not recognize him? He's only wearing sunglasses and he looks like a snake. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, But the cameo thing, that's not new. Like, Stephen King was did cameos in a lot of the things produced from his books. Um, usually smaller parts. Um, See, I haven't really seen a lot of his movies that were produced after the books. I've only read the books. Yeah. Like, I know he was in The Stand... And something else. I don't remember. We keep on drawing back to horror genre, I'm yeah. noticing today. <laughs> What's going on, guys? <laughs> Should I be nervous? Uh, we're just feeling very spooky. Very spooky. I did. I? Oh, so I've been watching Supernatural. Ew. And I did see the Scooby Natural episode. Uh, the, yeah, how, yeah, how was that? It was good. It was, like, they did a really good job with it. 
And I assume they got the people who are doing the voices, the current voices of the of the Scooby Gang, in whatever iteration they're okay. doing now. Um, speaking of Scooby Doo, like they've been remaking a lot of cartoons yeah. lately and just doing shit jobs. Oh, it's terrible! Like they're ruining some of my favorite things. Like uh, we recently watched a a, a, a thing for um, a new Thundercats, which looks just god awful. Yeah, it looks like. They try that. to do like an Adventure Time thing. I, I got more of a I, Steven Universe vibe off of it. I, but Steven Universe, even I would say, sadly, it sucks that people would look at that and be like, "Nah," because Steven Universe and Adventure Time do have deeper stories to them. Yeah, there, there are. I would say Steven Universe more than Adventure Time, but yeah, no, that initial like goofiness for oh, yeah. Thundercats it's when you okay. already had such an awesome show. Because I heard so... like, didn't they do a, one like a couple years ago that had like really awesome animation and like yeah. a good story, but no one wanted it they, at the time, so they, they did a, it. a new Thundercats and changed up the story a lot. And they from got... like, I only saw a few episodes mm-hmm. before. I think I think it was on Netflix for a while and then it got taken off, but. Um, I saw a few episodes and I really enjoyed it. It was a cool new take on on uh, Thundercats, mm-hmm. um, but they didn't go Teen Titans Go with it like they're doing with this new Thundercats. I hate Teen Titans. Go. Now you see with Teen Titans Go, it's very mixed emotions because I loved the original yeah. Teen Titans, Me too. and there was always like that. Well, yeah, we'd be up to do you know a continuation if we all got the cast together, mm-hmm. but then Teen Titans Go happened. But recently, there's been talk of because you know Teen Titans Go is getting a movie. Um, yeah, yeah, we saw that and poster. <laughs> it's because you know whatever. I guess give it a movie. I might go see it anyway because my boy Nicolas Cage is voicing Superman. Really? Oh, <laughs> so I kind of have to just for that premise alone. Yeah. But one of the voice actresses, the little girl who does Raven, mm-hmm. was like, "If the Teen Titans Go movie does really well." then there's a really good chance we'd be able to bring back the original series for a sixth and final season. I love the lady that does Raven. And it's like, please do well. I don't, I want my show to end with a proper close. That doesn't make any sense, though. But what if they say that and it's just because they want you to go see the one? Yeah, like, if Teen Titans Go does really well, we'll stop making Teen Titans Go and make good Teen Titans. No, they won't, but they'll probably just finish the good one. Like, because they did that with Samurai Jack. Well, yeah. Like, oh it was God, gone for ending. 10 years, and then, hey, guys, Samurai Jack Season 5. Like, I didn't know I, uh, I did know I wanted this, but now I'm just excited. Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah. Oh, my God, that ending, it right? Was, it, I, I was not happy. I, it broke my heart. <laughs> it just I was made like, me sad. Huh, you I haven't, seen, haven't it? seen it. Yeah. Uh, but I like that they didn't mess with the animation. Mm-hmm. Like, that was... I was it, yeah. so pleased with The that. only thing, really, that they did differently with the new season was... He had more dialogue than he's ever had. Hmm. Like, I do remember from the old days that he was he was a very stoic character. Yes, he didn't say a lot. Because that was what Samurai Jack played off of. Was mm-hmm. it was basically just a visual storytelling. Mm-hmm. You know, like there was there was audio, there was music, you know, all that. But like he wasn't very. He didn't speak a lot. You know, because I just wanted to yeah. portray like that. He's just going. You're just basically watching. You know, um, the story unfold. Right. They told the story without needing. Mm-hmm. All that excess, you know, dialogue. And this new one, you know, he's like, there's just more people for him to interact with that actually are consistently there. So, like, he, he does talk a lot more. Okay. But other than that, like, it's still, if anything, it's like, because it was Adult Swim only this time, mm-hmm. you know, rather than just Cartoon Network. So, like, they were able to kind of play with that, and make it a little bit more for, like, the people who wanted to see, like, an edgier, kind of mm-hmm. more adult samurai Jack. <laughs> more risque. I don't know what. No, I'm nudging you. you. <laughs> I don't know why you're nudging me. There, there's okay. A, there's a lady. That's what I was going to say. Oh, he there's a, a lady. There's a lady there's like, interest. Yeah. You know. like six of them. <laughs> but only one of them matters. In my heart. And in hopefully his. <laughs> <laughs> so another show that, they've, that I just found out today that they uh, have redone again. Uh, and it looks shitty. Uh, Ninja Turtles. Yes. Like I saw, I saw the promotional picture for that, and I hate it. I saw like a little promotional video. I haven't seen that yet. And it like yeah, show me later. Yeah, or, or don't watch yeah, it at don't. all. It, <laughs> it does not look good. Like, um, I noticed Raphael is just 
this massive hulk of a turtle, and then like everyone else is all tiny, and it's yeah. like that I don't sense. get They're it. Brothers. You are the same thing. Why are you big and they are small? I mean, it's sort of like I can understand their body types being slightly different from each other, but not that just kind of the different. way that it's drawn just looks awful to me. Mm -hmm. And then it also looks like it gave them superpowers from the video that I saw. Oh, ew. Um, I don't know that for sure. It might have just been a weird thing that they were doing with the the intro or whatever, but the only Ninja I didn't Turtles like it. with superpowers I need are the Batman and Ninja Turtles team up for comic books where Donatello injects himself with Bane's venom. That Holy was shit. wonderful. <laughs> but with the animation stuff too, they've also done it with um the one thing that bothers me the most is Ben Ten. Yeah. Oh, don't get me started. Because I loved Ben 10, mm -hmm. and I loved the um, the second one I did, Alien. Or the well, they were second a little bit older. I, yeah, 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 I didn't like anything. Teenager? Yeah, I didn't like anything after that one. Because mm. yeah. that's when it started getting stupid. Yeah. But like, I thought it was cool. Like, the original one was really great. Like, because I was, you know, around that age, like when it came out. So yeah. it was yeah. like, this is really cool. I like aliens. I like seeing this. It's just a really cool premise. Yeah, yeah I remember when I was like when I was growing up, I was like, I want an Omnitrix. I want to be able to turn into things too. That yeah. seems so cool. And then like now it's just seen like I just hate that the animate like it's it's the style. Mm -hmm. Cuz it's like every cartoon nowadays has that style. And I just hate it. Cuz it's like they're dumbing it down. They're not you know, yeah, there it used to be. There was a lot of detail mm -hmm. in cartoons, and and I think back to Thundercats being one of them. Mm -hmm. SWAT Cats was another great one. Um, the original Ninja Turtles was not didn't have a lot of detail, but it was better than what we're looking at now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you have a lot of these that have just gone real, real basic. And there are some th there are some of the cartoons that are that way that I do really like, like. I have drifted away from Adventure Time, mm -hmm. uh, but that's because the story just seemed to be going so... I don't know. I, I couldn't even follow it along anymore. It is ridiculous. But, yeah. but with Steven Universe, like it first starts out that way where it's kind of goofy, but that's because the point of the show is to track this one character's growth as a person. Mm -hmm. So he does become more mature, and then he takes on like more difficult tasks like, like how to cope with dealing with the loss of your mother and things like that and murder. like like it gets it gets a lot darker and a lot more emotional and i enjoy that because like for me when i was a little kid i lost my mom and i didn't know how to cope with it this is a show for children to watch and enjoy and get a little bit of therapy yeah. nope i don't know it just seems and really cool i think it's a big thing like if if a show starts out with that kind of art style then you you know what to expect from it. But if if they take something that was already working well, and then they try to change it up like that, that's where I think it, it gets into rough territory. Like, like, yeah. Especially when they do yeah. it with, from Teen Titans Teen Titans Go, mm -hmm. because that was a drastic change immediately. It, yeah. Like, it was it was literally went from this season of Teen Titans to the beginning of Teen Titans Go. Actually, they, they ended... did have a movie in between. Yeah, there's the a Teen, Teen Titans. Titans movie, okay, still. And that actually but does yeah, give you like, a little bit more of like from like the actual story of Teen Titans. Yeah, yeah, it just went from this huge, really powerful cliffhanger mm -hmm. to, "Hi, I'm Cyborg, and this is my fart noise." Yeah. Beast Boy laughs for ten minutes, then they <laughs> and go then eat they, a pie. Yeah, and then they go talk about they go say a song about pie, and <laughs> it's like that's dumb. It yeah. makes me really sad because I love all of those specific voice actors too. Mm -hmm. Like I love the guy that does Beast Boy, and I love Sarah. Um, Sarah Strong, I believe, is her name. Tara. Tara, Tara Strong. Strong. Yeah, does Raven. That does. I always want to say Sarah because the S and the S would just be so cool. <laughs> S -S. But it's funny because the guy who voices Robin, he also voices um. Now, like, I'll cave and watch some things, like if it's related to a certain thing, mm -hmm. like if it's Spider-Man related. Yeah. All for it, no matter what it is. <laughs> so Disney XD's got this one going on. It's really oh, yeah. goofy, but uh, Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, or the it's other just Marvel Spider-Man right now because that's the one that's going on. Okay. Yeah. And it's just it's real goofy because you know it's like towards kids, but like I like it. It's Spider-Man. So the guy who voices Doc Ock is also Robin. Robin, and I cannot 
look at them the same because he tries to like Doc Ox is superior, you know. Yeah. Uh-huh, I'm all hoity toity. Look at my mechanical arms. <laughs> I'm better than you. <laughs> but it's Robin saying yeah. that. So. No, that's not the same as was it Ultimate Spider Man? No, Spectac- okay. Yeah. Okay. Um because there was Spectacular Spider Man, there was Ultimate Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Ultimate's the one that ran for like five years, just ended. The one where he's like training with other members, like other Young superheroes. Yeah, that was near the end of it. I um, thought that was Amazing Spider-Man. Is that Ultimate Spider-Man? <laughs> I'm so confused. There's so many Spider-Man cartoons. <laughs> no, the Amazing Spider-Man. <laughs> that was some no. movies with Andrew Garfield. I thought they also um, did a comics, uh, cartoon series on X, Disney XD. Um, that, they did Spectacular and Ultimate on Disney XD. I'm just mixing Which was the one that had like Nova and Power that Man? That was Ultimate. Okay. Then that's the one but that, that was of that was the end of Ultimate. That, that was the last Fist. season. Um, cause, like for the first like four seasons it was just him for the most part and that's then, not like, what i remember well no, the, I remember like they, 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 they had took the, him away from him the group and of nova power man white tiger and iron fist they, they for took like him, several seasons well then it might have been the last that, few yeah they mm-hmm. took him out of that and then it was just him and it was him with specific characters mm-hmm. from the avengers like it'd be him and hulk on an episode mm-hmm. or he him did he i think there was a him and Spider-Man and Deadpool episode. Yes, that there was. was. Really yeah. yeah, I like that one. I, it was, it was funny. the one with Drake Bell was the Yeah, he the was voice. Spider-Man. Yeah. I like the Deadpool one because, you know, they really had to try to make Deadpool be able to be in that show. Right. So it's like, ha we're going to unalive people or something like that like <laughs> to get around saying, you know, you can't say kill someone on right. a, you know, a kid's show, but it, that was pretty good. Yeah. Like the, th- the main thing that I like about this one is it, it includes um, two of the basically the you know it has the trio Mm because the main trio of spider-man in any of the comics you know movies whatever is spider-man miles and gwen yeah they're the most popular of the spider people and it's got all three of them in right so that's what this that's pretty new right yeah um gwen's the newest out of them and because she got got her spider stuff uh i mean this new cartoon oh yeah yeah um it's like august of last year yeah yeah i think i saw some of that recently and, and it showed or maybe I'm thinking about a movie that just came You're out. You're thinking about coming the out. movie might, that just came out, yeah. Um, Into where, the Spider-Verse is coming out in December. Where it's mostly about Miles, and it's he's about training with Miles. an older Peter Parker, mm-hmm. and, then and then Gwen shows up. She's in it, yes. Okay. Yeah, um, in the older comics, wasn't Gwen, she was like a cat person, right? Yeah. Or something? Who am I thinking no, of? No, Black Cat. Black Cat. Is that? Yeah. That had like the, oh, okay. Yep. Because I'm like blonde hair and blonde hair. Yeah, Gwen's Gwen. always been the girlfriend who was there to... Yeah, I guess. Take up the die. Yeah, she no, she was in the early days of Spider Man, and and she died mm-hmm. in the comics because and it was a big deal because um, she's probably the most consistent and most permanent death of mm-hmm. like any comic book series. Yeah. So the Gwen that's going around now is from a different universe. Where um, she is a Spider. Yeah, where, where she got the powers instead of Peter. Yeah. Hmm. And like, it's just a really cool concept because like. She's a young character, mm-hmm. like so. You know, she acts like it, yeah. And that's what's really cool to me is because like there's some scenes that are like really, really like oh, this is really deep and emotional, and then there's another scene where she's punching du- some dude saying Pajama Friday every damn day, yo. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, all right, I love it. Or they reference like Rick and Morty in it or something. That's or, great. It's just, it's good because like then you know you get a scene that's like, oh, okay, I have to go to this bridge, the bridge where. Every Gwen Stacy goes to die. <laughs> it's like, oh. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much the end of the show right there. Mm-hmm. What'd you learn tonight? Uh, come back to me. Jeremy? I don't know. Jack <laughs> trying to think. <laughs> what did Thank you learn? Yeah, what did you learn today? Well, I learned that Enlighten despite us. our differences, we all hate when they remake these cartoons in a really shitty way. Jackie? I hate the remakes. I yeah. still love Steven Universe. Yeah. Um, what did I learn? That you don't want to inhale milk, but that was <laughs> just the lesson of the day. No. Jeremy? Jeremy Adam? Mm. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with that. All right. You owe me two next time. Why? Um, so... If you'd like to, you know, help out the show at all, you can go to our Patreon at patreon.com slash Uh Also helping out the show would be to watch these videos. 
and like and comment and subscribe and do all those cool things. Facebook, Twitter, uh, other places that we're at. SoundCloud. We're Instagram. SoundCloud. Instagram. Yeah, check are we out SoundCloud Instagram. SoundCloud rappers yeah, now? Yes, we're just mumble rappers on SoundCloud. Bang, bang. <laughs> Chance would be so disappointed. I'm sorry. He's not a mumble we, rapper. We can't be mumble rappers. None mm -hmm. of us have face tattoos. That's a pen. Yeah, it's about to be a face tattoo. Anyway, have a great night, everybody. Or don't. It's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>